Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for another video. My name is Brenda Kay and I am so happy that you are here and joining me on my year of simple abundance. 365 days of self-discovery and living a simply abundant life. Today is day 11 of our journey, so we'll talk about that and I'll fill you in on a couple of things. I'm doing a little bit better today. I am actually dressed, so that's a good thing. It's not, you know, nine o'clock at night when I'm filming on the floor of my bedroom, so that's good. Um, little steps. I've also spent some time organizing and going through some more boxes in my office. You can see this side of the room. Not so much that side of the room, but it's getting there. It's little bits. We're getting there. Um, so yeah, like I said, today is day 11. Is it recession or depression? No pessimist ever discovered the secrets of the stars or sailed to an uncharted land or opened a new heaven to the human spirit. Helen Keller. So what do you use to measure your worth? Is it your bank account? Is it your possessions, a car you drive, a house you live in? Um, is it the fact that you can you know, go out to eat often, um, your job, your marital status, um, your children's accomplishments? Like what, what do you use to measure your self-worth? When things are tight, when money is tight, it can be really hard, I know for myself, to find my self-worth um, when I feel like I can't provide things for my children like the needs are met but if I can't provide you know they need a new pair of shoes I can't go buy the $60 pair of shoes we have to go to Walmart and buy the $15 pair of shoes you know things like that it can be difficult to not focus on the lack and she has a quote in here from Harry Truman it says it's a recession when your neighbor loses his job and it's a depression when you lose your own so it's about perspective if you have um, okay, I had to sneeze. Moving stuff around in my office and I'm allergic to dust, so <laughs> hopefully I don't have to do that again. Um, but yeah, when you have a job and you have, you know, income and things are going well, you, you know, then it's just a recession. Like, things are slow elsewhere. Like, it's okay, you can still go on your life. But when you don't have the income, then then it's a depression like then we put a lot of self-worth in our ability to make money and how much money we make um just as a society and it's always about how much more can i get like how much can i buy you know the new car or the, the the fancy purse or the you know going out to the fancy restaurants like all that stuff is things that we put you know designer labels as a society we put a lot of emphasis on and when we can't get those things that society is telling us we need, then a lot of people get depressed. And I know I find myself falling into some of that. And it's not even like I want to go out and buy fancy things. But, you know, society tells us, or, you know, I see things that I want or that I need. And at the moment, I can't go buy it. I have to wait and save my money, which isn't a bad thing. But we live in a very immediate centered culture. We want things now. Um, and it, it's easy to get wrapped up in that with social media and everything. Um, she gets a little in your face and says it's time we put thoughts of lack behind us. It's time for us to discover the secrets of the stars, to sail to an uncharted land, to open up a new heaven where our spirits can soar. And this is not something that's going to happen overnight. Like we have to do this incrementally. We have to retrain ourselves to see the abundance in our lives and not the lack. And as much as I have been working on this over the last couple years, really, really heavily over the last six months, I still fall into that. I had a meltdown this morning um, with not, I, <laughs> I had, I had, struggle with insomnia occasionally and last night I was up until 3 a.m. just awake like no reason to be awake just awake 
And it wasn't like it was a productive time where I came in my office and did some work or, you know, made some strategies or anything. I was just awake on my butt on the couch watching TV, hoping to fall asleep. Um, come to find out, talk to my mom. She woke up at 3.30 in the morning and was up all day. And we kind of go with the idea that if we're up, God needs a watchman, even though we don't know what we're watching for, but we're awake, so... But yeah, so I'm tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night and that's, <laughs> I'm exhausted, but, and that contributes to my not being able to hold on to my positivity. Sorry, I'm gonna have to blow my nose. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, I've told people this before, like friends of mine, they're struggling with things and it's something that we have to learn incrementally. You know, every day we make the choice to see abundance, every hour, every minute, every heartbeat if needed to stop and go, no, there is abundance. I live in abundance. Um, and the more we do it, the better it gets, the easier it gets. So I challenge you today to expect something good is going to happen. No matter when you were watching this, um, if it's at night time, then you know, maybe the next morning, expect that something's good is going to happen. But just living that expectation that something good is going to happen. And then, you know, write it down. Um, I know we're getting to the point where we're going to be talking about gratitude journals in a couple days. Um, so we'll talk more about that, you know, when we get to that point. But nothing wrong with just starting to write it down. If you keep a calendar, write a good thing that happened on the calendar or, you know, um, but just be aware of the abundance that you do have. Um, and the past no longer can hold us captive if we don't hold on to it. So let go of what happened yesterday, 10 years ago, you know, last week, five minutes ago, just let it go and live in the moment. Um, cause if you don't hold on to that, that pain, that anger, that sorrow, that it can't hold you down and hold you back. So, um, on another note, I did something today that I had to call my business partner, which is my mom and, um, run it past her, but something I've been wanting to do. And I finally, allowed myself the no I finally told myself I'm worthy of it and I did I mean I ran I called my mom and I was like okay this is this is what it is this is you know how much it costs do you think this is a good business investment and she agreed that it was so I gave myself the permission and the self-worth to purchase um, some actual business training. I've never purchased business training before. Um, I've gone to school, not for business, but, um, you know, you never, you always wonder, is it going to be good training? Is it going to be, you know, is it going to be worth it? You're usually not cheap and, um, you know, you want to make sure you get your money worth and all that kind of stuff. And there's a lot of people out there who sell just fluff, but this particular person I have been following and watching um, free webinars and you know reading testimonials and stuff for a couple years now and she opened up some special pricing for her she only opens up her training program once a year and she opened up some special pricing today so I got in and I've already started looking at some of the training materials and I'm really excited for what this can mean because I'm tired of playing at business I'm tired of having a hobby that I kind of, you know, sort of, yeah, I'm a business owner and I'm an artist, but am I really, like, am I really working on this? And I haven't been, and I'm tired of that. And yeah, so I invested in myself today and I bought some training. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what that's going to mean for Hook Needle Bead, which is my shop on Etsy, um, that I run with my mom. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what, what shakes out and it'll be nice to have. Cause I get, I get paralyzed by what do I do? There's so many things you have to do. You need, you know, everybody tells you, you need an email list, you need social media and you need blah, 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 blah. And then I get paralyzed with the overwhelm and I don't do anything. So this is going to be, 
here is step one, do this. Here is step two, do this all the way through. And it could take up to a year depending on how well I grasp the information and all that. But um, there is so much information and it's like a lifetime once it's paid for. So I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, so that is that is it for today. Definitely take some time to look around and find something that you are thankful for and hold on to that sense of abundance. And if you like this video and you want to see more, then definitely please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. And my baby is crying, so. Um, I will talk to you all tomorrow.